A NASA competition combining the strength of an athlete with the mind of a scientist is sweeping the world, and it could lead students on a path to other planets. It's early April at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama, home to Space Camp, the visitor center for NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, and an extensive museum about America's history of space exploration. But for one special spring weekend, it becomes a grueling half-mile track where a thousand of the world's future engineers gather to race against the clock in machines of their own design. Welcome to the NASA Great Moon Buggy Race. Work on this project began at least six months earlier at the beginning of the school year, as students designed, built, and tested a sturdy, collapsible, lightweight vehicle, addressing many of the same engineering challenges overcome by NASA's Lunar Rover Development Team at the Marshall Center in the late 1960s. It's a lot of work, definitely a lot of researching, figuring out angles and figuring out just how everything's gonna come together and then just we feel a lot of time into like machining parts and actually it was really cool. Dedicated teams of students build their vehicles using trail bike tires, aluminum composite metal struts, drive trains, gears, suspension, steering and braking systems they find or build themselves from high tech to homemade. In creating the annual NASA Great Moon Buggy Race, the goal was to engage America's next generation of scientists, engineers and explorers. The agency wanted to encourage students to study science, math, engineering, and technology. Since that first race in 1994 with just a handful of teams, the event now includes separate high school and college divisions, more than a thousand students, and institutions from around the world. Our drivers uh, spend uh, much time riding their bicycles, I think almost every day from the moment that we thought about um, going, uh, coming here to Huntsville. Since we are from a non-engineering background, we didn't have access to workshop, a pretty good workshop. So that was the biggest challenge because we had great ideas in, in our mind, but we needed machines to do that. These students take what they learn in the classroom, on the drafting table, and in the machine shop, and apply it in a real world setting. To many, building the moon buggy is accomplishment enough. But the true test is how well it runs on the simulated lunar obstacle course in Huntsville, just a few short miles from where the original lunar rovers were tested. We've gone down flights of stairs, you know, uh, ditches, parking lot, uh, speed bumps, everything. Just beat it as hard as possible, you know, break it at home. That way we can fix it and make it better rather to get here and break it and just be out of it. <laughs> A pair of students, one male, one female, steer and provide the power to drive their creation around this special track, filled with serious obstacles one may find on the moon. This is where some athleticism comes in handy. The long history of this event proves that running a clean race is nearly impossible. Teams can be penalized if something falls off their buggy during the race, if they veer off the track, or if they have to get off their buggy to get it moving again. And sometimes, moon buggies on the track simply can't finish in the allotted time. But teams have a second chance to make repairs and improve their times because there is a second run of the race the next day. Even then, many teams will just have to take pride in the fact that they completed the project and made the journey to Huntsville, even if they had to carry their buggy across the finish line. We made it up the top of the hill. We we're going down the other side and then our drive chain just shattered right in front of us. So I was looking at Stephanie and I said, well, let's go and push it. And as we were getting tired, she's like, let's go to the end, let's do it. NASA and the major sponsors for the event provide prizes in nearly a dozen different categories, including best rookie team and best safety design. But the grand prize in each division goes to the team with the fastest time and the fewest penalties. Even if a team doesn't come home with a trophy, the experience is a reward unto itself. The lessons learned as a member of a team. The chance to design, build, and race a vehicle they created. 
and applying those math, science, and technical skills in a down-to-earth, hands-on competition. The design this year, it was a whole team effort. Um, everybody had their own ideas. We changed our steering mechanism from last year, and we changed the seating around a little bit so that we can have a little bit more support when we're trying to pedal that extra drive. The NASA Great Moon Buggy Race brings the excitement of space exploration within reach of these students, while encouraging knowledge of science, technology, engineering, and math that could carry them to other worlds. For more information on the NASA Great Moon Buggy Race, including how to qualify, visit us on the web at moonbuggy.msfc.nasa.gov.